I don't know if people know about what's happening with informants in the U.S., but a lot of informants have been sent to communities either by the NYPD or by the FBI. And so an informant was sent to this mosque in Newburgh, which is a really poor town um, about an hour from New York City. And he was told to sort of, you know, walk around, look for people to speak to, I guess. And he found a few people to prey on, really vulnerable members of the community. And he found one in particular and basically started grooming him to commit some sort of act. And he groomed him and he groomed him and the guy was really reticent and really reticent. And he offered him $250,000 to participate in the plot. Okay? And then this guy is told to find some other guys who are willing to participate in this plot. One of the people he finds was a diagnosed paranoid schizophrenic. And another person was someone who agreed to participate only after he was promised a large sum of money. And why didn't he want to use this money? He wanted to use the money to pay for his brother's liver transplant because his family didn't have good health care. So basically, this informant is fed um, a plot by the FBI, and the informant in turn feeds it to these victims, his victims. Um, the informant is given a bomb uh, built by the FBI, and he supplies it to these men, right? And he's also given the target. And so these four men say they basically wanted to calm this man out of the money, and they go and they plot this fake bomb. Um, and basically, what was the target? It was a, a Jewish synagogue in, in New York. So as an American Jew, I guess the point of the story was just to say that the point of the plot was to make me afraid of Muslims, was to think that they were my enemy, was to think that I shouldn't stand up for Muslim rights. Um, but we all know, I mean, I think there's that old adage, you know, first they came for the socialists, but I didn't speak up for the socialists because I wasn't a socialist, and you guys know the adage I'm talking about. <laughs> the point being that um, whoever wins tonight, uh, their aim is to make us fear here or in the States, is to make us fear Muslims both at home, abroad, to make us think that they're enemy, but we all know that they're only doing that to take away our civil liberties and to continue imperialistic policies. And yeah, I hope that whoever wins tonight that we won't let them do that. So, thank you.